I can't think of a better way to get into the holiday spirit than to make Christmas cookies. That's why Elizabeth Miller is here. Good to meet you, Liz. Nice oh my gosh, you. this is gonna be epic. I've been thinking about this for months. What is the secret to making the best Christmas cookie ever? I like to just keep it simple with a, a basic vanilla shortbread. Are we gonna actually do this? Mm -hmm. Let's, this is going to be exciting. All right, let's do it. What do we do first? All right, so we're going to make our, our cookie dough. Um, okay. It's basic creaming method. Okay. Um, we have butter and sugar. You want your butter to be room temperature. I always keep butter in my car for in case an <laughs> emergency breaks out. Um, something important with um, the creaming method is not to overdo it. Um, okay. The more air you incorporate into it, um, the more your cookies are actually going to spread. So with a cutout cookie, it's important for them to hold their shape. Got it. So you want to make sure you scrape down the bowl. Um, since this is a smaller batch of dough, it will be more on the side. Got it. Do you want to go ahead and do the honors, add the egg? Thank you. What so is this? So this is egg and vanilla extract. Egg and vanilla. Okay, okay. Egg and vanilla, Dr. Watson. So if you, this is a bigger batch of dough, you'd want to add them one at a time while it's mixing, but since it's literally just one egg, you need to go ahead and do it. And that's the vanilla? Mm-hmm. Yep, so if you want to use your spatula and just give it in there nicely. My first day, Liz. Don't make fun. Uh, never. Okay. Done. And we're going to go ahead and scrape it down again. Um, it's best if your eggs are also room temperature. It'll just um, come together a little bit more nicely. How long does it take to get an egg to room temperature? Um, depends on how warm your house is. Um, I'd say leave them sit out for like an hour. Got it. down and then add our flour. So how much butter did we use? How much um, sugar it, did we use? It was a cup of butter, okay. a half cup powdered sugar, half cup sugar, um, one egg, about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then there's two and a half cups of flour, and I believe it was a half teaspoon of baking powder. This is going to make how many cookies? Maybe like 20, 20. medium-sized cookies. Oh, wow. That, that's it? That's it. So I like to let the dough rest a little bit and get slightly chilled before rolling it out. It makes it a little less sticky. Are you telling me there's gonna be a nap involved in the cookie making? Mm -hmm. This is the best culinary segment I've ever done. I normally like to wrap it up in a little plastic wrap and just throw it in the fridge for a couple Got minutes. It. Plastic wrap, just, what is the purpose though? Um, just to chill it a little bit. Like right now, if you feel it, it's a, like a little sticky, oh, got it. it'll just chill it down just enough. And easier to work with. Exactly. But you, but if necessary, we could. Yeah, just add a little an extra flour on the table. And it would be fine, got it, okay. All right, so what happened? How long has this been chilling? Um, like 15, 20 minutes. Oh, that's it? Mm -hmm. Just yes. enough for it to... Go. Yeah, just to set up a little bit. Um, if you wanted to, though, you could make your dough the day before or days ahead of time and just store it in your refrigerator. What's the maximum? A um, couple of days? Yeah, a couple of days. After a while, your dough might start to turn a little gray and get kind of funky. Got it. Um, so if you want to do it before, like, weeks in advance, you could always make it and freeze it, too. Oh, okay. And then just pull it. You know, we're just going to take some flour. Okay. Flour the surface. Any kind of flour doesn't matter, all um, purpose? I do AP or cake, nothing like super high gluten. Got it. You want to keep your cookies nice and tender. Wow, this is incredibly easy. Mm -hmm. Kind of want to brush off the excess flour a little okay. bit here. Um, and then you can pick your shape. Oh, wow. This is, okay. I love this mitten. This is great. Look at this thing. That's cool. That's right there's too thin. Way too thin. Yeah. Is there anything that's too thick? Like, Maybe we're not like gonna... right here is a little thick. Well, but... Wow. And you can feel the difference. Mm -hmm. huh. Just gotta commit. Yeah. Best to bake them on parchment paper, they don't stick. Right. Um, and then make sure you have something on each corner just so the paper doesn't fly and your cookies fly everywhere. Excellent. Okay, and then they go. In the oven. Oh, wow. Does it matter where in the oven? Um, preferably not at the very top or the very bottom, kind of in the middle. It really depends on your oven, Got um, it. where the heat source is. 
And again, a uh, oven thermometer is a really, really good idea mm -hmm. because yes. we really don't know exactly how hot it is in there. What happens if you bake them at a higher temperature by they're, accident? They're going to get brown very fast, and they might still be even a little gooey in the middle. Got it. And too slow, it's just going to take longer? Um, it's going to take longer, and you're not going to get that nice, um, it's called a Maillard reaction, the golden brown on cookies. Mm -hmm. um, you're not going to get that. It's just going to be pale, kind of doughy, gooey. All right, so next we're going to make our icing. Next icing. OK, mm -hmm. very, icing is very easy to make. It is very, very easy to make. And people go to the store, they just pick something off the shelf, and it's not as good. Exactly. OK. So we're going to start with our powdered sugar. Got it. Um, my tip is. Always add your powdered sugar first and then add your egg whites. Because if you add your put your egg whites in the bowl, you might have too much and not enough powdered sugar. It's easier to add more egg whites than add more powdered sugar. Got it. And it's cheaper. And it's cheaper. Oh, that makes sense. So we're starting with our base. Mm -hmm. Also a good tip. So these are just egg whites. Got it. Can you buy the store egg whites in a mm -hmm. carton? No. Yeah. Stop for just a second, we'll scrape it down. Well, this, my children would love this. This is gooey and it's almost like, it's like taffy. Mm-hmm. They do love to eat it. Oh, no. Oh, what, what is the point of this? I'm just getting it off the side of mm -hmm. the thing? Yeah, just making sure there's, it's all off the side so it all creams nice and smoothly. Looks like you've got it pretty well. Okay. And it actually looks the right consistency too. We're just gonna turn it back on to make sure it's nice and smooth. All this is doing is adding air? Um, adding air and just making sure it's nice and smooth. You really, it really won't incorporate that much air to it. Got it. So this is the proper consistency. Um, you want it to kind of hold its shape but still settle a little bit, if that makes sense. Yes. You don't want it to be like soup and just run off and you don't want it to be so firm that you won't be able to, to pipe it. Got it. Another tip is to color your icing the day before. Um, a lot of food colorings, they get darker the longer they set. So if you want to do black, the odds are that you only really have to add a little bit and then it's going to darken as It'll the day darken goes as on. the day Yeah, so. wow. use less food coloring. And this is uh, food coloring gel. It's a little thicker than just like the liquid drops. You okay. can buy both typically in a grocery store or a craft store. I'm actually getting a workout. That's amazing. If you think about it, you know, making Christmas cookies really isn't, of course it's about culinary prowess and your ability to make them from scratch, which is their sense of accomplishment. But when you have your family in the kitchen doing it together, who doesn't want to do this? You know, nobody's staring at their phones and we're making this together. I think that's kind of cool. These are inexpensive to mm -hmm. make. That's the other thing. It's very cheap. I'm going to buy, you know, $28 worth of cookies when in fact we will make all of this for what? Less than ten dollars. Less than ten dollars, and and way more than we could possibly eat. Right. So when you're folding, it's good to start from the center of the bowl and go out. That's how you can kind of tell if you got it all. Oh wow! And then spin your bowl. I think you're good. Nice. Oh look at that! I think they're they're pretty perfect. Oh my gosh! Look at those. They're perfect. Mm -hmm. Next, we're gonna decorate. We have our disposable pastry bag. Got it. Um, the easiest way to operate it is to fold it down. Yep. And then you can fold it. And this is better, in your opinion, than like the, I see those cloth bags. They look like rubber bags, but. Mm -hmm. um, definitely more sanitary. Um, I'd use the cloth ones if you're kind of like pipe pad issue or something you're gonna bake. So you're gonna wanna cut a hole. Um, if you're using a tip, Yes. You just want to make sure that it still will hold the tip. It won't slide all the way it won't through. Won't slide through. Got mm -hmm. it. And a good tip is always throw this away or throw it in your pocket for so that it doesn't end up in yeah. cooking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good call. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. That was sloppy. Touch it on your hand. Messy job, yeah. All right. Um, I don't typically like to fill it too full because then it's harder on your hands. We're just gonna trim this because it's. Um, so whenever you're holding a bag, you want to twist it. Okay. Why? To um, stop it from because you're gonna squeeze it. You don't want it to squeeze up the top. Uh, you want it to squeeze down. 
and then use two hands. One I like to control the top and then one on the bottom. So you can use different tips. This is a little star tip. We're gonna make a little wreath. Just gonna go around. Oh, and I'm wow. squeezing from the bottom. The top is just more to control just it. Just to control. Yeah. And this is where, where I was talking about the icing. You want it to settle a little bit, but still hold its shape. And mine are higher than yours. Why is that? Um, you're just pulling up a little bit more than I did. Wow. Oh. 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 Oh, my. Oh. Now. Now it's happened. Now I've screwed something up. How do you... How do you recover from that? You want your the little yeah, bit coming of, down? Yeah, kind of fell over the top there. Then we're just going to cover it up. Just cover it? Yeah. All right, so now we're just going to give it little berries. Got it. Oh, that is awesome. Does this need to sit? Mm -hmm. Yep, just let it sit for a couple hours. It'll dry nice. It'll dry. This is one I did this morning, and you can feel. Oh, wow. That's awesome. So there it is, the finished product. Well, cheers. cheers. Thanks for this. You're welcome. It's delicious. <laughs> oh. oh, they're better than they look, and they look amazing. Just take these out of your way. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Liz. You're welcome. Bye. Mm -hmm.